morning, folks. So I know we're still a few filtering out of the room, but uh, we are keen to get going and uh, kick on to our first session in the AI Now track. So for those who have stayed, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Um, we thought this year was more important than ever to really focus on AI right now. You'll have heard us last year talk about the level of phenomenal change in the AI technology set and just how accessible it had, it had become. And over the last year, it's like that's just accelerated massively. The, the scale and variety of AI technology that's at our fingertips is just phenomenal. And uh, we wanted to use this, this series of sessions to really reinforce what does it mean right now? What can you be doing right now to understand it, to embrace it, to challenge some of your thinking around it? Um, one of the stats that came out a few months back was that 38% of UK businesses have AI embedded as part of their everyday operations. I would challenge that. I would just suspect that, that's, that that is the number we're talking about because most organisations still don't understand and know what they're doing with AI. I would say that's more like 90 plus percent because AI is already here. It's now we're using it or organisations are using it even if you don't necessarily know how. So it is a time to understand what can it do for you, how your organisation uses it, and how can you use it really responsibly and ethically. So we've got a series of uh, sections through the day. We're starting off with a couple of sessions more in the creative space, where we've pushed a few boundaries, tried a few things that are a bit different, and looking at actually what does this mean in a more creative way. We flow into a few number of sessions around responsible AI. The EU AI Act is obviously really developed and cemented this year, and uh, we can see all, lots of other countries following and getting much more clear on their direction around AI. So we are here to share what does that mean? How, does that, how can you practically apply that in your organizations? And what are, what are organizations doing with the, in execution of that? How are they ensuring that they are legally doing the right thing? We get into a series of then probably more detailed sec, um, sessions on the nuts and bolts of what are the architectural patterns? How do we make this work in production reliably, securely? And we close then the day with some absolutely brilliant sessions on how this is impacting the industries and a couple of really good examples of uh, where this has been rolled out into production and uh, we're seeing end users having an impact on organizations really getting their arms successfully around AI and having a positive impact with it. But I want to talk first about our, our first panel discussion. So uh, it is the story of building clay. And uh, in, this, in AICon this time last year, Tom, Tom gave a hint at this and predicted, actually, in future, in future panels and future conferences, this is something that we would have. And uh, Lolly, that you heard speaking earlier, actually, whenever her and I met earlier this year, in just before the summertime, it was Lolly that brought that idea back and inspired us to say, actually, yes, now is, now is the time. The technology is not perfect. The, this is not necessarily ready as a as a refined product but yes we should be we should be challenging ourselves to say should we have a digital panelist should we bring artificial intelligence into and be part of the conversations that we have across all of the things that we do including panel discussions like this one so our uh, our team here have been working with this technology over the last couple of months and built what we what we call clay to join us on a panel discussion i will Set a little bit of context. If you were standing up here doing a live demonstration, you would obviously be a little bit nervous. Um, and with this live demonstration, we also have technology that is very fresh, technology that has just been built and is very, very fluid in by way of its engagement. So please um, give it a, a warm welcome and embrace it for, for what it is, for showing the boundaries of where this technology is. It's also worth being aware that if we were starting this again today, we would quite possibly pick different technologies as well. It has moved on even over these last three, four months. I want to say a big thank you to Will Hamill, who has led the team to create what we have done so far. So I welcome Will on stage along with the, the rest of the team, with Leszek, Dallin and Suzanne, to tell us the story and, uh, of course, Clay. Thank you.